Okay, uh, they're not as bright as they would normally be, but just, uh, I got my meter finally, uh, here's a capacitor now. I got a diode on each end. 1N4148 diode, I believe that one is. Those two are, I mean, because uh, it's an AC uh, microwave capacitor. It's about one fair. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. I had 168 volts, but two of the LEDs just burnt out on me. I'll be right back. Let me replace them. Okay. I'm going to start closing these plates. Oh, you see those LEDs coming on? keep going as the capacitor charges the, the frequency oh, the frequency changes come on before something blows out again <laughs> 70 80 90 100 120 130 140 50 60 up oh, up oh, up oh, too far too far did I blow some out already yes I did Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll be back. We're gonna have to put a bulb in there. All right. Uh, another quick. Quick update here. Uh, my God, I've done so many experiments, but I'm not gonna bore you guys for hours on end here. Uh, I've experimented with many coils, different primary coils here, and then the pickup coils here from our middle plate. And uh, anyhow, oh yeah, here. this is so sensitive right now. That one's blinding bright right now. Uh, that one's not as bright as it should be. Uh, 82 volts, say, across that capacitor right now. I'm trying to get that bulb one. The loop consists of the white wire comes in, goes to the coils. These two coils are in series with each other. Come to the capacitor microwave AC capacitor I got a diode on each side uh, still loop comes around to the other end of the LEDs that's it LEDs coil capacitor LEDs coil capacitor L uh, bulb across capacitor you gotta charge a capacitor enough uh, so I'm still messing around with this. I, I kind of feel like almost compelled to get this lit in this setup. But we'll see. <laughs> if not, I'll, I'll go on to another setup that I, I know for sure should work. It's tricky with this now, being so balanced like they are. You know, and I've even experimented with one this size and then a coil this size, which is double the size. Be excited, I am. All right, we got it back where, whoops, I can't get too close either. <laughs> Our 60 LEDs are lit again. Again, narrow viewing angles. I don't have them, they're all just aiming all different directions. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to leave that there, and now we're going to add, and believe me, they're pretty bright. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, add this string of diodes here, 18 diodes, they're 1N4148 diodes, uh, and I have some new ones I have to experiment with yet. And we're going to put these diodes and attach it to this bottom plate. Okay? We'll be right back. To also notice 
This one's quite bright. And that one's quite bright. When everything's working in harmony. I think you want both of those lights lit. I think I'm going to get that bulb lit. <laughs> and I'm laughing when I say I think because I know I am. <laughs> Hang on. Da, da. <laughs> Alright guys, it's gonna end the day soon here. Uh, we have our three plates. Uh, these 60 LEDs have now gone out. So you got to either choose one or the other. Now we've got this bulb lit. It's very dim though. It's not lit as nearly as bright as I would like to be. Almost 100, there, 116 volts. You see, there's our diodes. They're up on a piece of cardboard. They are taped to the bottom of the plate. So there is still 0.220 in between the plate and those diodes. Uh, this is another identical one. Alright guys, but uh, we'll get it brighter. We got it lit. It takes a lot of work. Believe me, it's <laughs> not as uh, easy as it appears to be. I got approximately 117 volts across that now. We'll get that brighter yet, guys. Like I said, I'm still just scratching the surface. Okay, uh, let's try this again here. These are, you can see they're pretty bright. Got them aiming toward us a little bit better. Uh, that is at least 2.6 volts across each one of those right now, I guarantee it. <coughs> uh, I'm having trouble putting the, circuit, the, the, the voltmeter in there. There's different ways to do it, but... I think I'm going to take this out. Maybe I'll try to put one of these in there and see how that works here. Uh, now I've told you in the past, you know, I've got this bulb here that lights up at like 125 volts. Another bulb that can light up at 115 volts. Now these. These bulbs got their own little circuit in them, and I'm not going to go into great detail about those circuits right now. Anyhow, take those circuits out. Now this will light up with only 75 volts. Okay, where am I? <laughs> we still got these lit. Uh, I still have to try these coils yet. Uh, I tried one over here. I've done lots of experiments. I've added this little AV plug here. Again, there's nothing. It's not connected to anything. It just picks up a field to see if that coil is emitting a field. Helps me kind of dial things in. I think it is best to have one coil slightly offset than the other one. Or the distance between these plates slightly offset. They're hair off right now again. At least at one end, I think. Eh. Maybe that's why they're working. Anyhow, I got. I'm going to try this too. Uh, 
Something from John Hutchison. <laughs> Where's the thing on there, huh? Variable induction coil. I love it. Love the ingenuity of the olden days, man. Look at that. Okay, it's working so far. It's funny, it's about the same diameter and everything. Uh, let's see here. You should be able to just turn this on top here. And we'll be right back, guys. Okay, we'll give you guys a few minutes of live viewing here. We'll adjust that uh, variable coil up there from John Hutchison. So we want to offset things slightly. I really think we do. Alright, let's just go through a couple minutes here. It's one turn. That's two turns. Three turns. megahertz same frequency is the best one can we adjust the distance yet Ooh, I don't know let's not do that yet Four, five, six. That's adding like six, six more windings. Plus there's more gap between those windings. We're adding more capacitance. Is it better? Seven, eight, nine, That's right where it's at. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wait a minute. I 
one looks bright from the other side. Watching this little guy too here. Watching that little abramental plug there too. Coils fully energized, you can see. And actually when these LEDs are brightest, this is not the brightest either. All right, guys, <laughs> that's uh, all I'm going to let run for the live view right now. I don't want to do the entire video like that. We'll be back. Let me think about what I got to do now next. <laughs>